We're talking to Renata Gomez. Renata, can you explain to us uh, what you're doing here today? Uh, today we are um, having an exposition about uh, the uh, uses of our academic uh, research at the University of Coimbra in collaboration with many universities throughout Europe, uh, mainly uh, University College London, univer various universities in France, Spain and also in the United States. And we are here to show people that we can actually translate our academic research into industrial project. At the moment we are showing uh, various about 10 projects from five different uh, research teams uh, where we show the basic uh, uh, science behind the research projects which are currently patented and are of interest to uh, industrial companies pharmaceutical companies uh, for um, applications in uh, the clinical contest uh, especially in neuroscience and cardiovascular disease um, and also for uh, for other uses so. can you maybe give us an example of a, uh, a patent you've produced in the field of neuroscience for example that that you hope will be translated into a market product um, I can give you a very specific uh, example of um, a product uh, which is now we are now using it for cardiovascular purposes but it can also be used for the neuro, uh, neurological contest I'll give you the cardiovascular example because it, I think it's much easier to understand and um, currently um, this is one of my main projects uh, we are using um, uh, something that are called um, um, nano nanoparticles and nanospheres um, uh, uh, has a way of introducing and labeling stem cells so we can put them into the hearts of people that had a heart attack and this is also helping uh, tracking of these cells for the re regeneration and the regeneration and a better prognosis for the patients. Uh, this is a patent filed under the MIT uh, in Boston and is currently of a very big interest and a hot topic among many uh, biopharmaceutical and pharmaceutical companies which are hoping to take this technology which uh, we have a proof of concept with and we are developing and hopefully going to uh, clinical trials um, so uh, they can uh, use it, take it and commercialize it and also to be used for uh, diseases, uh, neurological diseases such as Parkinson's um, and many, many other diseases. So, and there are obviously many other patents. I think uh, this, uh, this department has produced well over 20 patents. So it's good. Okay, great. What is your overall sense of how Europe is doing in terms of bio, biotech um, innovation? Well, I think I'm much more aware about the state of the United States in this area. And um, I have an idea that uh, Europe is doing very well in this because I think Europe um, has a lot of ideas and is patenting them and using a lot of it as intellectual property and is moving very fast. I, I would say even faster than the United States in this area. And I think this whole European Union and collaboration and international European platforms involving different countries and different uh, uh, labs and research institutes is a great idea and as far as my experience goes is working extremely well. So. Great. Uh, beyond the actual creation of patents, how do you think Europe is doing in terms of uh, pushing things out into the market? Sometimes we hear that maybe Europe doesn't quite get there as fast as the US or other uh, world leaders, for example. Do you think that might be the case? Um, I think uh, Europe is a little bit more cautious. Uh, I think they have uh, tighter uh, regulations, which uh, might delay the the, um, the, the commercialization of the products, but I think that's very good because it means the, these, uh, these products much safer. So um, I see the positive side of that. So you think that this sort of softly, softly, safety first approach might serve the EU well in the long run? Yes, absolutely, because it would be terrible to uh, not have tight regulations and then two, three years down the line of a, when a product is commercialized, you have to take it out of market because it's having horrible side effects, something that has happened quite often in the United States. Uh, so I think we should avoid that at all, all costs. Great. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.